What's up guys? I'm out on John Halkis' boat Sunday morning after the Billy's by the Bay Fluke Tournament. And we decided to go ahead to the race to fish for some stripers and do another three-way versus the bucktail video. I'm fishing the 6-ounce SNS Skinner Swing Hook Bucktail Chartreuse with a Chartreuse Otter Tail. And we've got four plus mile an hour drifts because, you know, it is the race and we were coming off a new moon. The results of this video are going to be extremely definitive. Hope you guys enjoy and get a chance to try this out. Good boy. Oh. This drag is probably set, right? Yeah, it should be. Okay. I wanna find Go, go! Oop. Come on. There you go. Oh that. dude, this drag's gotta be tighter. Coming up to get the neck. Oh, this is a good one. Good one? Yeah. Nice. nice. I had to tighten the drag. <sighs> That's a great rod, man. Nice and easy. That might be a blue the way it's running. Well, he's bopping. I don't know. It's got the good bo okay. good bops. Good bops? Yeah, it's not going out yet, but it's starting to. It seems like. Yeah, you're right. Feel, feels like feels like a bass, dude. That's uh this thing's that's my crafty one custom. I like rod. this. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, dude, oh John, goodness. John, this, dude, is, look at this that. is my PB, dude. Yeah, uh, personal bass? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude, that's a beautiful bass. Bring it here. <laughs> it's a, uh, nice. It's a Thank you. Oh my goodness. Dude, come John. On. Holy cow, 40 plus inches. Dude, my PB buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Holy That crap. is sick. Dude. Wow. I got my phone. I'll send you the pictures. Okay. Nice job, Tom. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we'll send him back. Here he goes. That was a beast, dude. Right after that fish, the three-way tangle started to happen, and I switched over to the bucktail. Um, oh, I'm hung up. Look at this, me too. That's why nothing happened there. Yeah, I'm just trying to show it for the video that the three, that this is what happens, you know? I'm going to catch my first one right here in these four to five mile an hour drifts. I wasn't recording, but you'll see the fish come up and there'll be many more right after this. There might be a keeper. Okay. It's a hundred and five-ish, but we'll come up fast. Now it's going to be moving slow when I put the 20 on. So. Damn. There we go. Now I'm correcting. <laughs> Almost two pounds of lead. I'm straight up. Feet fish market. Straight up and down. Yeah, right now. John had to switch to 20 ounces of lead. Yeah, there, there it goes. Starting to uh, trail out a little bit. 93. 90. Oh boy, you, even that extra four ounces of lead, you feel it. Oh yeah, now I'm starting to trail. Should be good for you with no weight. Yeah, I don't know how I, how high up off the bottom I am. Ooh, that was a hit. That wasn't bottom. That was a hit. 
That's a fish, dude. That's a fish. <laughs> I knew it was it. Oh was my it. god. Yeah. Dude. He went for it and went for it again. Well, I'm glad I, I asked you to come. Otherwise, I'd have no content. None. Zero. Little guy? Yeah. You know what? Swing him in. I'm going to drop him I, I think, uh, that's the thing. I think, you, you, ooh. Yeah, you can handle this guy. Yeah. I think the, uh. But I, it's a good thing I brought up. I like it. And this time on the, uh. It's your baby. He's your baby. Where you at with this? Don't shake and I'll get it out. Oh boy, that's the back barb. Get it out. Come on. There it is. Alright. It's amazing how that oh that's he's young. Yeah. 18? Yeah, 20 maybe. So the one thing that is accurate, the tangles. That am I from my video? Like, that's why I don't like fishing the three-way, because that happens. Yeah. Oh! That was probably bottom. It was shallow. 43 now. But it's coming up on the weather. 41. And that's the other thing, like, I'm pretty scooped out. At this speed, I should have snagged, and it just bumps off the rock. You know, and floats so back. Way less. Yes, because it's lighter, it'll it'll scoot back and up. And you just have less terminal time. 25 right in the rim. I don't know. Bottom yet. Look at that bottom. Yep. Ooh, that's a fish, dude, right away. Wow. It's, dude. it's a better one, I think. Okay. It's not huge. Right away, dude. I was just sitting on bottom. We were barely moving, John. Yeah, so I'm untangled here. Uh, we just set up another trip. And guess who's on again? Stuff gets thrown off the boat. <laughs> I'll get a hand with that. Uh, tangled on myself again. He, he's up. I'll get out of your way. I'll bring him forward. He's just a schoolie. He's like the first uh, schoolie here. Yeah, close. 26 maybe. Not bad. He's barely hooked. I could probably just uh, yeah. Do we'll do it the right way. Yeah. All right, buddy. Sweet. Not a bad fish, Todd. Yeah. Fish. I'm gonna shuffle over. One to twenty. Drop her down. It's moving. Oh, I'm on, dude. Right away, and it's a good wow. one. It's a good one. Yeah? Yeah. Hit me on the way down. Now, uh, maybe a blue? Now, uh, no, it's fighting like a bass. It's strong. Yeah. I'd say, ooh, dude. You can't even get to the bottom with these fish. Dude, I, I'm blaming you. I was, I, uh, dude, I hit bottom, I cranked, and it was on. That quick. I got all the way down. Oh. Want a net for this one? This one might need a net. It might probably you could probably Let's see it first. And that's right here. We're not gonna probably lose pull. You got them hooked. If it hit you on the way down, I know you. As soon as I touch bottom. Okay. Right. Oh, as soon as you touch bottom. Okay. Yep. Oh, dude. Shit. 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 Okay. Yeah, I don't know. If that's I'm around. A, it. I don't know if that's nah. a bass. Feels like a bass. No. Not. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, it's a good. Oh, that's a big blue. It's a gator. You're right. It's a gator. Dude, that's a gator blue. I have my drag. I don't want to go near that thing, dude. I don't know. You don't worry about that's it. Yeah, a that's a big one. That's that's my PB blue. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's two PBs in one day, John. My battery died before we got the bluefish to the boat, but it was definitely over 15 pounds, probably towards 17 from what I was thinking. It was one of the biggest, if not the biggest, bluefish I had caught. So John just let me set the boat on the drift, and it was definitely intimidating being a 31-foot boat. The nose goes up real high. I'm not exactly six foot at five foot, seven and three quarter, so I'm on my tippy toes looking over the bow. But uh, I put us on a great line, 
and uh, as you'll see here as the drift picks up I watch my line real close to the water as as it's 90 degrees down I know I'm straight and close to the bottom but I'll see it slightly move out and I start to catch on that when I drop at a certain little bit of an angle say maybe 5 10 degrees I'm about 10 15 feet off the bottom so I'll drop again but when I drop, I just click the reel. I don't reel up. And automatically, it's going to start drifting back into that strike zone. And that's how you can fish these four-plus mile-an-hour drifts and still catch good stripers. I feel like I should drop. Uh, dude, that was a big fish. I couldn't, I couldn't bring him up. I loosened it up a little. Any marks? This is a uh, light line. Oh, now we're marking. Yeah, we're marking. Huh. Wonder if I should drop again. I dropped down a little. Yeah. So I don't even have to reel up. Oh, oh, this I'm on. Dude, Come this is a good on, one. Dude. This is a good one. Okay. I'm not helping you. I, I, in fact, I don't like you anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, like, your seventh fish? I haven't caught one yet. It's all right. That's a bass. Yes, right, I'm going to come up I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. The line is probably all tangled anyway. You might beat me up. He's coming up quick now. Might be a blue. Yep, I'm tangled. The way it's going out. Oh, yeah. You know, the blues might be uh, the sun coming up a little. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Now. Let's see, it still could be a bass. Yeah. It's a bass, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, it's a nice, look. Oh, wow, a blue with him. A blue chasing him. That's a keeper. That's a slot fish. Yeah. We're not going to have No. Yeah, I'm going to swim him around. Oh, we're good, we're good. There you go. That's a keeper. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's slide it off a little. So we don't uh, yep, run. gotcha, gotcha. Uh, 32 inch fish. Oh, spits. Nice. That's a nice, easy release. Oh, yeah, fish. buddy. Want to take another picture? Sure. Oh, all right, buddy. Oh, take it. Let me see. It's pooping on the deck. All right. Turn them sideways? No. Uh, oh, you want to do that? One that way? way? Do, uh, do one. Sending them back to the deep. Nice. nice. Dude, yeah, bluefish nice. buddy coming up. <laughs> nice. That was awesome, the, the bluefish chasing Chasing them, them yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Should I reel up? No. I've got, I got, I got to match this. Yeah, it looks spassy. Ooh, dude, that's a good one. Did you back the strike down? The drag? It's a good fish, man. It's like the one you just caught. 30 inch fish. Nice. I hear shorter than yours, but 
Oh, yeah. oh it's big, baby. It's got some, yeah. got some shoulders. It's a nice slot fish. Yeah, it's definitely a slot fish. If we were keeping fish, this would be one to keep. And look, I was tangled. Wow. <laughs> and I still. I should probably reel up. I'm so scoped. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Are oh, you welcome? Yes, I I do feel bad though because. As hard as I tried on that boat with amateurs, I could only uh, get us third place, Rick. <laughs> I do try my hardest. <laughs> and you were mocking, you were, you were mocking the spinning rod, I might add. A lot of marks. Well, what I'm gonna try to do is teach you how to set the hook. Because you might have had the $10,000 fish at the end. I know, I saw the rod going crazy. But I don't, I didn't, I don't know, I only saw after you started reeling and I saw the bend in the rod and the, the head shakes. I don't know if, I don't know if you, you might have said the hook for all I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking. I said I don't, I don't, I didn't see. So you might. Come on. Oh, Todd's on again. Let me go. Bye. Surprise, surprise. I didn't even drop this time. I'm retired now that I caught that one fish. Todd is on again. He's a little guy, huh? Yeah, little guy. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I think it might be a blue, but he's coming up. Yeah, he's coming up. Maybe because I was scoped, but... No, no, it could be because you're scoped. I, th I think it's a bass. Yeah, it's a little guy. I think it's a... That size, it's gotta be a bass. Ooh. ooh. No, it's gonna be like... Oh, ooh. maybe not. No, it might be a blue. Yeah, I think... Not a big blue, though. Where am I at? Oh, where am I at? There he is. And you'll notice I switched a lot of my reels to the high vis line. This is X9, uh, 20 pound test. It's got that small diameter, which is helping me keep that six ounce bucktail down. But also, when they go around those engines, I can, I can see where I'm at with that line. If it was the uh, Power Pro dark green line that I used to run, I wouldn't see it at all and probably break off. You got me wrapped up. All right. oh. And he spit it. Thank you. I love it when they do that. Alright, what do you I, I say we call it? Yeah, call I'm it. Exhausted. Uh, yeah. I'm exhausted just watching you. I I, I mean she's killed it, man. Thank you. Good job. Let's go home. Yeah. Get some rest. 